Welcome to Earth Unplugged. Did you know that you're only 10% human? We're host to an amazing array of organisms, so many it may surprise you. We're all familiar with parasites like tapeworm and fleas, but have you heard of the smaller beasts like the demodex, also known as eyelash mites? These guys bury down into your hair follicles, eating your skin and oils, and then at night, they'll zoom around your face at the mighty speed of 16 millimeters per hour, meeting up for sex whilst you snooze. Cheeky. And if we go even smaller, we have trillions of weird and wonderful microorganisms. In fact, the microbes on and inside your body outnumber your human cells by 10 to 1. That's right, all cells being equal, you are more than 90% something else. Since these microbes are incredibly small, they make up just 1-3% to of our body weight, but in the average man, that still means that over 2 kilograms of your weight is made up of these single cell passengers. On a microbe scale, you can think of your body as a planet, with habitats as varied as the Sahara Desert and the Amazon rainforest, and there's an incredible biodiversity. The healthy human body is home to an astonishing 10,000 different different microbial species. And even within your human cells lies something of a mystery. The powerhouse of all animal and plant cells, the mitochondria, just doesn't seem to belong. The best theory is that around 1.5 billion years ago, when the world was dominated by single-cell organisms, the mitochondria were free living bacteria. <laughs> and then a simple form of our cell came along, engulfed it and employed it. It gives us energy and we give it a safe haven to replicate indefinitely. But what about the rest of that 10%? How can that really be defined as you? As any crime thriller will tell you, we shed DNA all over the place. And on a given day, you could drop nearly a million skin cells, lose a hundred hairs, spout several litres of sweat. Just think about how much DNA is in the room you're in right now. Once those bits get broken down and recycled, they become something else or often someone else altogether. You might have heard the claim that you share atoms with the dinosaurs and that every time you inhale, you breathe the same air molecules that Sir Isaac Newton once exhaled. Can that really be the case? Take a deep breath. Yet you just inhaled 12 trillion molecules from the lungs of the man himself. At least that would be the case if everything he breathed was still airborne and the atmosphere was mixed perfectly. In reality, those molecules may have been recycled to appear in everything, from treetops to snowflakes to giant squid to you and me. So you're not just inhabited by different species and made of different species. You are currently passing through hundreds of other different species as they are passing through you. Rest assured, you are you, but only in the physical sense, exactly as you are now. To find out how a mosquito hunts you down, click here. Or to discover how easy it is to break a bone, click here. What would you like to see on Earth Unplugged? Let us know, we're really interested, and we'll see what we can do. Oh, and by the way, when you're falling asleep tonight, just have a think about those parasites running across your face. <laughs> see you soon.